Hello peoples! In today's video we're going to be using the Aurora LN. We're going to showcase the starter ship and the point for this video is to give you an idea of how the ship performs with different types of weapons in game. So for our weapons we're going to be using some Yellow Jacket and Scorpion Gatling guns. Why? Because they're cool. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to pull up Oracle within the video and we're going to show you what the stats are for the GT 210s we've got a range of 1747 for the projectile speed we have 1120 meters per second for the GT 215s we've got a range of 2139 meters and for the speed for the projectile that is is 1316 you'll also see that when we overclock them we get a substantial boost in our DPS we're not going to overclock these weapons however we're going to overpower them because they are Gatling and ballistic weapons for the rest of the components go ahead and use the link to this build in the video description below. Check it out, give it a shot in game. After you've used it, come back, leave a comment. Let us know what you liked about it, what you didn't like, what you changed, all that good stuff so that other people can learn from your experience, not just mine. As usual, I invite you to sit back, grab a drink, fix yourself a snack. Let's see how we do in this video. Okay, as you can see, that was pretty quick. Not too much problems taking out the Vanguard there. You gotta love these ballistic Gatling guns. They do wonders. I did make two mistakes. One is I'm fighting in an asteroid field and I've told you guys in the past, don't do it. That's a mistake on my part. I probably should have gotten a little bit further out of that asteroid field before engaging the Vanguard. Second one is, is that my engines overheated a lot faster than I thought they would. So kind of be careful with that when you're using the Aurora, particularly the LN here. I don't know if it's indicative to all the auroras more than likely it is but it did overheat a little bit faster than what i'm used to so let's see how the rest of this goes So here's a little tip, I've decoupled, I'm going to continue my original path that's going to kind of take me to the edge of the asteroid field. This is going to allow me to rotate on my axis and put all my forward weapons on the target as it passes by. Hopefully I'll get a lucky shot, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. So now we're going to go into a regular engagement.
And again, as you saw, no problem taking out the Vanguard at the very beginning. And of course, we picked up the two ads, took out both the Buccaneer and the Cutlass. No issues there. Having the Gatling guns overpowered, I think, increases their DPS and it minimizes the amount of overheating that you would experience. I didn't have hardly any overheat issues, as you saw in the video. And I could maintain a pretty decent stream of uh, DPS on the targets so that their time to kill was pretty good. So let's see how the rest of this goes. So as you can notice, we're using the same tactic as before. We've decoupled, we've allowed our original trajectory to take us out of the asteroid field while firing at the target as it passed by. Now what we're trying to do is just keep eyes on it, make sure that as it closes in, we can get off a couple more rounds, maybe a missile, and then we'll do a regular engagement once we're safely outside of the asteroid field. Okay, let's wrap this all up. Let me know your thoughts on the ship and the weapons that we used in the comment section below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? What builds are you going to run on it if you don't like the one I got here? If you like this video, you know the drill. Please hit the like button, the notification bell, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, take care.